guys welcome back to the last part of this beginners makeup series in this one we are going to learn about blush highlight and lipstick and also how to set your makeup thank you keep watching so let's get started with the blush today I'll be showing you two different kinds of blushes so first I'm showing you a cream blush from NYX this is how it looks so to apply a cream blush you just need your fingers I need to dip them inside it and just apply some dots. So take some portion on your finger like this. And you need to make sure that you are applying it above the contour line. So don't blend it inside the contour line. So for that you just need to smile like this and put it on the apples of your cheeks. And you need to start it from here and go to the top. So we are going diagonally upwards but above the contour line like this start from here and go to the top and now with your finger just dab it so that the cream blush goes inside the skin see I'm just moving it around in round circular motions it's very easy to blend cream blushes Cream blushes are really good for like dry skin because they give you a very natural flush and for oily skin you can even go for powdery blushes. So I'm just doing a little more on this side. So you can blend this as you want. So this is how it looks. Now I will be showing you another blush from Milani which is more of a powdery blush. It's a baked blush from Milani and the shade is Dolce Pink. Hmm. This is a perfect shade for party wear or even for like morning or evening glow. So I'm using a blush brush for using this. And I'm just running the blush brush around the blush here and just dusting off the excess so any products that you use remember to do this step for powder especially that you dust off the excess and now again I start from the middle here from here and go to the top so we will be doing this in circular motions Smile again and do this in circular motions and go up. Let's do it on the other cheek as well. Smile. Run it in circular motions. You can see that flush nice pink flush so let's just blend everything together now you can see that I'm not going below the contour line I'm still sticking to this line but just going in round motions Okay, so the blush is done now. Next, let's move to the highlighter palette. I am using the highlighter palette from Milani. This is how it looks. It has three shades and I find this palette really good because it has like a golden shade, it has a champagne shade and it has a rose gold shade. So I have like all three shades in one palette. So for today, I am planning to use this golden shade here. The center one 
and I'm using a flat brush to apply my highlighter so I will be just using this in the center like this and draw a line and take the product dust off the excess and draw it first on my nose You can quickly see the difference that it makes. It gives a nice shine to the face. Next we will be highlighting the cheeks. So just above the blush. Smile again and draw a small line. And how I do my highlighter is I start from the cheeks and go in a C direction like this same with the other one start from the cheeks go in the upward direction like this Now we will be blending it with the blush. So take your blush brush again and move it above the blush. So that it does not look like three different lines like contour, blush, highlight. We don't want that. We want everything a little blended together. So let's blend the highlighter with your blush. We don't want to show any harsh lines on our face. You can always add more product if you think it's not enough. But always blend it first and then add more. Because if you add more at the beginning, then it's too difficult to blend. Okay, I think this is good for me. I will be applying some highlighter on my chin and above my lips. shine on your chin and I'm applying a little bit on my cupid's bow Let's just blend that together. So we are done with the blush and highlight. Next let's move on to the lipstick. So at the beginning I had used some lip balm on my lips. But if you think it's excess, I like to sometimes just dab it off so that my lipstick glides easily. For the lipstick today, I am using this lipstick shade Velvet Matte from Essence 06. And it's a nice pink shade. This is how it looks. It's a matte lipstick. So I'll be applying my lipstick now. I'm starting from the cupid's bow. And the center of the below lip. And I will draw the lines together to join both of them.
So I always like to moisturize my lips first so that they don't look dry and flaky and the lipstick glides very easily. But always make sure that you remove off the extra lip balm you have on your lips because sometimes the lipsticks, if there is liquid lipstick, it may not glide. So make sure that. And as an extra thing today, I also want to use a little bit highlighter on my brow again. Just to give that extra shine. So this is my finished look. So to set all everything correctly and lock everything in, I will be using a setting spray. For that I will be using the Dewy Finish NYX Long Lasting Setting Spray. This is how it looks. So if you have a dry skin, you should go for a dewy setting spray. But if you have oily skin, you can opt for a matte spray. And NYX has very good sprays. You can use this one. So I just shake it before. And then we'll be just spraying some pumps of it. So just close your eyes and spray it. That's it. So one simple tip to give you once you are done with your lipstick, just use your finger between your lips so that it does not get on your teeth. So all the excess will come on your finger and you can just rub it off. And this is done. So thank you so much for watching this series. I hope you enjoyed a lot. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you again soon. Thank you so much. Bye.